on this computer. We are now recording. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Requesting Equipment for Class Projects Skill Builder, part of an ongoing series of workshops that will happen throughout the semester. In today's session, uh, you're going to learn about how to locate, reserve, and retrieve equipment, as well as general policies regarding loan periods and fines. And my name is Christopher Bishop. I am a librarian here at the Agnes Scott McCain Library. And I am Rebecca Holtzclaw, and I'm a circulation associate here at McCain Library. And we are going to go ahead and jump in on our presentation. So I'm just going to navigate how you would uh, locate equipment in the library. So first, you are going to want to Bookmark the McCain Library homepage if you are having a very research heavy semester ahead of you. Um, this is very beneficial for our hours, for what services we offer. Um, you can locate any of our, search any of our books um, and make research appointments. But today we are just going to talk about how to locate equipment. So when you're on the McCain Library uh, website, it's going to be agnescott.edu backslash library. You are going to go to the About the Library uh, navigation tab on the left side of the screen. That's a lie, you're going to go to Services and go down to the Items to Borrow tab. On the Items to Borrow, you'll have uh, information about the books, DVDs, CDs, and equipment. So if you wanna see how long DVDs and CDs um, and books can loan for, that information is also here. And at the bottom, we will have the equipment and we'll show you all the different um, equipment items that we have. And this is where you can come to see anything that's available. This might be easier for you if uh, you might not remember the name of a specific equipment item, but you recognize the picture of it or what it should look like. But this is also just your go-to web page because it will give you the availability and the amount owned and um, any further information you might want to know about equipment. So I'm going to break down our equipment items by the uh, areas they may fall under. So we have a lot of um, equipment for film and video production because this is a heavy, um, this is something that professors will commonly request for their classes. Uh, they may, will have many projects that re require either digital skill or digital still cameras or camcorders, um, as well as other um, equipment related to the production of film and video. So. You can see we have multiple options of cameras. Our Canon Rebel Camera Kit is one of our more popular ones. It's the one we have the most of, um, and it's one of our best uh, features that we offer here. But you still have other options. Um, the Nikon Digital Still is a common favorite among some students, and they prefer to use that just for their own reasons. Um, and you can come and play around with them and check them out to see which one is best for you. Under that, you'll see we also have uh, camcorders, and it will show you the number owned, as well as um, some voice recording and other items. We do loan additional SD cards, especially if a student um, or a patron would like to uh, film an event or something that has to be longer than, and they're maybe concerned about taking up too much space. So you can get extra SD cards. You can get um, tripods and uh, microphones. Um, as well as boom pole kits and newer light kits um, that will help with the video production aspects of your project. We also do have voice recording options because sometimes you might just need to do um, a project involving voiceover or a podcasting project. And so we um, offer two different kinds of podcasting kits. That's the Yeti podcasting kit and the Audio Technica. And I will scroll down to those. Um, and it will tell you um, the different kinds we have, and you can see the different parts that come with it as well. And then this is commonly when our digital voice recorders, our Zoom recorders, and our Tascam recorders, or our phone recording kit gets checked out as well. So there are additional accessories that you can check out with the equipment, such as chargers and adapters. Um, we like to provide a wide variety of these because so many different um, 
ports exist now. So we have iPhone Lightning as well as the new iPhone USB-C charger. We have um, an Android Mini B and an Android uh, Micro B, which is a very generic general kind of um, charger for most Android phones. And then we also have USB extensions and we have um, adapters for our VGA players, our USB and HDMI, different kinds of ports. So if you want to hook something up to your computer or your laptop or a projector, um, you'll, you can have those options here. And we tend to check those out. Um, depends on the item, the checkout loan for your chargers versus your adapters, but we'll get to that later on. And we also have wall plugs if that is what you need and you already have the cord, you just want the plug, we do set the, uh, check that out separately. So for viewing, we do um, offer DVD and Blu-ray players, and we also have a CD player if you're just wanting to listen to music that you're allowed to check out. Uh, and we also have projectors and projector screens so that you can set up and have a little movie night in your room. Um, and as I mentioned, we have adapters to connect all those things so that it should work with whatever um, your source is, whether your laptop or your TV. Although if we don't have an item, please let us know because we do love to, to make sure that everyone um, has access to the, to the same things. Uh, we also do have laptop kits. This is one of our more popular um, items and we have uh, 10 of them typically that are able to be checked out um, for six hour periods. So if that is something, um, if your computer goes down in the middle of the semester or you're having issues and need to get it checked um, in the store, you're welcome to come in and check out a laptop in the meantime. And then we have headphones that we can check out as well if you need um, any listening software. And then along with our laptops, we do have six iPads that are available for checkout and they come with the case and a charger. Um, and we are progressively getting apps on these iPads. So if there's an app that you want us to get that's free um, and it's not already on that iPad, then you can come talk to someone at the circulation desk and we'll get with ITS and see about possibly procuring that and getting it onto the iPad. We've had several students who are artists and um, video makers that like to use apps on the iPad specifically. And they've requested um, apps for us to get and we've been able to get them. So we um, also have graphing calculators. That's an important thing because a lot of students need those uh, if they're taking their um, required math courses for their major and they get checked out frequently as well. And then lastly, at the bottom, you'll see we do have bikes and technically this is not equipment, but because it is not a DVD book CD, we leave it on this page. And we have uh, seven, different, seven different bikes of different height and varying size so that you can come in and look through our um, bike handbook and you can pick out a size that works best for you. Chris, I am going to give the mic over to you. Okay. Uh, loan periods are listed on the equipment page and Rebecca has spoken to that a little bit. Um, as she mentioned, laptops are six hours, headphones are three days. Usually things will circulate for six hours a day or three days, depending on the number we have and how often they're used. Uh, so quantity. Um, but certainly you can ask for a longer loan time. Let's say if you borrowed a camera and it loans for three days, but really you need it for four days, that is not a problem. You can certainly ask and we'll probably extend it. Um, the fines, fines are not something we like to use. It's just a way to get back the equipment. So certainly if you're going to go overdue with something, please email, call and just say, hey, I need this longer and we will extend it. That way there are no fines. But just so you know, uh, items that loan for less than 24 hours are a dollar an hour and items that loan for 24 hours or more at a time are five dollars a day. So just keep that in mind. But again, we don't have a problem extending things. Just let us know if you need it longer. Um, and we also require a form. So when you check the item out, basically it's gonna be a form that's going to um, say that everything is in working order and you understand that you have responsibility for the item. So if the item is damaged while you have it, certainly let us know and, and let's talk about what happened and what, are, what the circumstances were. But just so you understand, uh, some items like headphones are, are relatively cheap and some things like cameras and some of the other recording equipment are very expensive. So you certainly always wanna be uh, careful 
with those, but also understand that you are liable for those costs. And we will ask you to fill out a form in the beginning, just acknowledging that and what, what those different roles are. Uh, all the equipment also, for the most part, includes directions, like little booklets and things like that, that'll tell you how to use them. And then also downstairs, ITS, there are two staff members who deal primarily with the equipment and would be more than happy to walk through and kind of give you a, a, a somewhat hands-on, given COVID, a tutorial and that with those. So certainly if the booklet or we can't answer questions, we can certainly set up a time for you with ITS staff and do more in-depth things. Um, unfortunately, as I just mentioned, COVID, right now we have to quarantine everything for three days after it's returned to ensure that it is uh, COVID free. That is going to cause some issues with availability. We only have so many laptops and we have only have so many uh, tripods and cameras and all this different equipment. So please with that be patient um, and understand that, you know, quarantine this does mean it's going to make things a little harder to make them available. Uh, what I would suggest though is that don't wait till the last minute to request something. Let's say if you know a week before that you're gonna need a camera and we'll show you how to do this in a moment, you can go into the system and say, okay, I want this camera a week from now. If you do that, I can't really think of a time when you would not be able to get that camera because you thought in advance you were proactive and you'll have that equipment. Again, if you wait till the day of, it's very possible that we'll still have it. It's just, you know, again, with the quarantine period and stuff, it may be a little harder. So kind of think in advance if possible, it'll really help you out. Um, so I think what we're going to do is when you over to the right on every item, you're going to see check availability and with each one, it's going to, you're going to be able to see what's going on and place a request to hold. We're going to go down to the microphones. So I think this is a good example. And under the microphones, you can see we have three different kinds. We have a snowball and shotgun. We have a road mic. We have a boom pole kit. The boom pole kit is so you're at a distance. You're uh, holding the mic up over the people speaking. The snowball or shotgun mic are what go on what goes on the boom pole. And then the road mic kits include all of those components. So there's there's a variety of things you can choose based on your needs. So what you would do if you wanted to place a hold for one of the mics is you would click on check availability. And that is gonna take you into our catalog, which is called WorldCat. You can certainly look for the microphone separately in WorldCat, but really the easiest way to do it is to go to that list of equipment and just access it that way. And Rebecca, if you can scroll down a little bit, you're gonna see here, you've got boom pole kit number three is available. Uh, road mic kit number one is checked out. So it'll tell you what's available and, and when, it, when it was or is due. Let's say that I want to though, I want to check out boom, coal, boom pole kit. Um, it doesn't really matter, but I want one of the boom pole kits. So first thing I'm gonna do is click on place hold. And it's gonna prompt you to log in. You're gonna log in with your network ID and password. That basically says, um, it'll tell the system that it's you. And then under where it says I need and it says any copy, we don't want any copy because we don't want just any microphone. We're going to click on specific copies or volumes. And we know that we want boom, coal, boom pole kit number one. Now you can certainly request for a hold more than one item here. Now I would say this, if you, you know, if, if two students in the same class need a boom pole kit, it's really better for each of you to check one out separately and not one person to check it out for both of you. That way, if something happens to one of the boom pole kits and it really wasn't yours, someone else was using it, it'll be better for accountability. But you can, if you need more than one item, you certainly could put in that request there. But normally, it's going to just be for one item here. Um, and then let's say pick up location, but let's say I, you need this for specific dates. You don't want it tomorrow or the next day. You want it from a, for a week from now. So when we are doing this, it is January 11th. So we're going to say we don't want it until January 18th. And then we're going to say to January 19th. So it's because we know, okay, I'm going to pick it up on the 18th or the 19th. And we're going to hold equipment items for 24 hours. So if you do that, that date range, that time period, which is roughly about a day or two, 24 hours, it should be fine. Um, and, I, and I cannot pick up at, at this point, we won't use that. But if there's a time period where you can't pick it up, you would do that. And then basically, you just come down to the bottom and you would click Submit. 
And once you click submit, it's going to go into a queue and then someone in the library will see that from a pull list that we do throughout the day. We'll go and pull that boom pull kit for you. And then in our system, we'll make it available and you'll receive an email. Uh, you should, you'll receive an email within an hour of us uh, placing that item on hold for you. And the email will tell you where to come and pick it up, which is the front desk of the library. It'll also give you a link to the hours to make sure that we're open. And then you will just come to the library uh, you need to come to the circulation desk and pick it up after you've received that email. Or if you don't feel comfortable coming into the library for whatever reason, you can call and we'll bring it out to you. And then hopefully in the next month or so, we're going to get lockers that will be on the ground floor next to the CDVL. Once we have those, that will be an option and you'll be able to say, hey, I can't come until after the library is closed, but I'd still like to get this piece of equipment and we will put it in the locker for you and then you'll be able to retrieve it from there. So you'll have multiple options based on what you feel comfortable with. Um, last thing we wanted to talk about, if we went through and anything was unclear or you just want more concise step-by-step -step directions, if you go to the library's homepage and go under find guides and then under by guide, if you do the drop down and go to WorldCat, okay, there are tons of different directions here for all kinds of different things you can do in WorldCat as far as finding a book or finding a DVD or finding your course reserves. But this one that um, Rebecca is going to click on is how can I locate and reserve equipment? This will give you a very short video and then really concise steps that go through each part that we did in this uh, overview tutorial and it'll make it able for you to go and find this equipment and place a hold for it. And I think that's everything we wanted to talk about. Rebecca, was there anything else that we should mention? Um, I'm just going to highlight the equipment and adapter menu on the side. Yes. Uh, real quick. So if you are not really sure what you want um, and you don't uh, remember the name of an item, this is very helpful, what we've already gone over. But we also do have an equipment menu and a chargers and adapter menu that can give a breakdown of all the different kinds um, of chargers and adapters that we have. And so that might be useful if you um, want to make sure that we have a certain extension before you come to the library to get it. Um, and then we also just have more information regarding our circulation and borrowing policy and our fines. But otherwise, that is everything. Great. Thanks, Rebecca. You're welcome. Bye, everyone.